Unicom wants to uniquely identify medicinal products wherever they are used. This project looks at interoperability for medicinal products data in a truly innovative way, where silos have been broken down. Structured data produced at the source by pharmaceutical companies will flow throughout the entire value chain down to the patient. Patients and citizens who would really like access to their trusted health information. Medicinal products data are connected to a very large and increasing number of use cases at national but also European level. Our first objective is to improve patient safety, but we believe tremendous efficacy and efficiency gains across the whole value chain can also be obtained. The identification of medicinal products, IDMP suite of standards, was initially created to support pharmacovigilance. It is now the key reference for every initiative aiming at supporting interoperability in all the domains connected to medicinal products. The IDMP standards have been developed over the years to focus on pharmacovigilance initially, but during the Unicom project we've made sure that it's also connected with clinical care and with the supply chain. Unicom has put the implementation of the IDMP standards to the test, not in a laboratory, but in vivo. In 11 European countries, the public authorities in charge of authorizing medicinal products have accepted to adapt their IT infrastructure and make it IDMP compliant. They also help to solve the most critical unsolved issue, the identification of substances. They supported the European Medicines Agency in the development of the new IDMP compliant electronic application forms. This was the fuel needed to make the change concrete. They got to know the fast healthcare interoperability resources, FIRE standard, thus creating a bridge with the standards making community. Together with the European Medicines Agency, we are developing the new generation of application forms for medicinal product data. This will provide IDMP compliant data right from the start. They have understood that they are also key interoperability contributors and that they need to develop a national data flow strategy. Creating direct interactions between the National Competent Authority and the eHealth Competence Center. Unicom also performed an in-depth analysis of the data now used by several Unicom and non-Unicom countries. This analysis will help all to undertake the IDMP conversion of legacy data. This analysis will help all European national competent authorities to deal with the IDMP conversion of their legacy data and to develop the necessary tools to support this huge task. Countries involved in Unicom have been sharing extensively their individual progress and questions with all European countries. The Unicom community of expertise has gathered together close to 1,500 people from all continents and all domains. All the questions asked and solutions proposed were debated and shared on the flow. Unicom also created bridges with the IDMP ontology developed by the pharmaceutical industry. European Union e-prescription specifications have been updated with Unicom input. IDMP is a key foundation for the European health data space in the making. The IDMP-based patient-facing app also paves the way for very innovative interactions between patients and health professionals, with or without the support of the EHDSI eHealth infrastructure. Unicom wants an overall solution for Europe, but a worldwide alignment is also needed. The global IDMP working group, which gathered together EMA, US FDA and WHO Uppsala Monitoring Center is now piloting global implementation. There is now a way to align the Global IDMP Working Group, the journey has started, the point on the horizon is clear. All European national competent authorities now need to be involved and to take action. What Unicom learned and did will make it easier for them to start their journey. It is now time for all European national competent authorities to start implementing IDMP. 
future EHDS implemented acts will need to make direct reference to the IDMP standards. But we need that the implementation of the IDMP for the whole value chain is fully recognized and adopted in all the major in European initiatives like the European Health Data Space. The Unicom Pilot Database and Implementation Guidelines are critical resources for strategic European projects. New competencies need to be supported through permanent capacity building mechanisms. The resources and database to support implementation need to be further enriched. Unicom advocates open access to essential resources, such as the Substances Database. The Unicom project is advocating for a wide and open accessibility to essential resources in a collaborative environment. Major actors, such as EMA and those from industry, need to be engaged in an ambitious and shared work plan, where all the stakeholders are mutually held accountable. Most advanced countries will soon be able to demonstrate value creation along the entire pipeline. The pipeline will connect directly several domains, including regulatory, clinical, research and public health. We now know it can be done. And with an acceptable level of investment, even for small countries, remaining implementation risks can now be mitigated. Reference implementations exist. In smaller countries, it is possible to achieve uh, successful and forward-looking IDMP implementation with a reasonable investment. And the remaining implementation risks will now be mitigated. The different available European Union funding schemes can also support member states which are only starting their journey. A possible new European project would give a strong and clear signal to everyone engaged in the medicinal product value chain. To share knowledge and best practice between a fully IDMP compliant country and not. Bring value to each and every body of us. And this is a game that we need to play together. Bridge the gap between NCAs and healthcare organizations. The biggest challenge for us is funding. Unicom has started to change the main rules of the game. The momentum cannot be lost. Governments, public agencies, industry, standard development organizations, healthcare providers, let's all be engaged. Our ambition now must be to engage patients and health professionals Collaboration and never ever give up. Addressing the need to enhance the cooperation across each NCA member state. Get engaged and help us to make a quick progress. Read our key recommendations on unicom-project.eu.